Chris GC here, and today's first impression is The Walking Dead Season 4. The zombies have returned. And if you have seen any of my videos on The Walking Dead, I'm usually bashing the show because it's just... I wish it could have been so much better. And lo and behold, episode 1 of season 4, beside the, you know, not caring at all how I use my gas, my electricity, I'm fine. Everything else was actually pretty good. I mean, it dealt with the humanistic side of a zombie apocalypse, where there were these human problems as to, like, Carol teaching kids how to kill, and kids naming zombies, and this internal strife as the world moves on, people are hooking up, that was sort of like kind of cheesy when it was just one pair after a pair of introductions, and it was cool to see that, you know, the world is moving now, and they're just accepting the fact they're living in the zombie world, yet they can still function, and they have everyday activity sort of thing, like storybook time. Now there's also a council. There's a lot of interesting arcs for sure that will span the entire season. You have Michonne's hunt for the governor, and just Rick's problems with his leadership, I guess. Now there's a council, they sort of like shepherd people around. There's a lot more people to die now. And talking about that, I'm sort of sad that they introduce Beth's boyfriend and he just died. But yet it addressed her inability to cry and to shrug it off as if it was nothing. Like, that's how they deal with death now. It's an interesting thing, but I sort of wish that the boyfriend stuck around for a bit more. Because he had interesting dialogue and chemistry with the other, you know, main cast. Like with Daryl trying to guess his occupation sort of thing. That was fun. So I was sort of like sad that he just died. And also that nerdy guy who ends off the cliffhanger while he's in the shower. I enjoyed his dialogue too, yet he just died as well. So, I mean, that was a, that's a good cliffhanger, but I sort of wish they dragged it out a little bit, sort of like make me care even more. Because already they hooked me as in these guys are interesting, they're funny, they're, they have normal people relationship, as in they're chillax, chilled about it, despite the fact that they're in a zombie apocalypse. The entire, like, series of Walking Dead has been very serious, so to see this sort of thing was sort of, like, nice. So, I would have liked it even more if they stayed around a bit. Maybe two, three episodes if you really want to push for the whole cliffhanger sort of thing. Though I don't know how many episodes there is, so they're probably crunching for time. Also, the whole Rick thing in this episode was pretty cool. Bumping into that woman, and just having her talk and stuff, I was just like, yeah, she she could be chilling out with this dude. But at the same time, something's bad is gonna happen. I kept expecting that, and it happened. The guy's head still gaping around, and she kills herself. So that was pretty intense stuff, because it deals again with the humanistic side of drama. So maybe I'm just sick of like season three's like whole, let's kill other humans and not really deal with our own emotions because we have too much stuff to handle. So now I really enjoyed the whole change of pacing as in we have to deal with our feelings. Feelings, feelings, feelings. That was like the great thing about Walking Dead, the comic, that dealt with the feelings of people. Like, interaction between people that were on the same side. Season 3 dealt with a lot of the governor's people. There's a lot of like hatred, just those feelings. But to deal with the inner emotions was interesting as well. So now, yeah, I totally enjoyed it. I wouldn't say totally enjoyed, but I liked I liked episode one. There was a lot of some stuff that was sort of like, uh, kind of draggy. Could have cut it off. Some of the shots that they made was kind of like, I don't know why you're trying to do that sort of thing. But yeah, anyway, I enjoyed it. I look forward to this season. And that is all for this first impression of The Walking Dead, season four. See ya.